Uh, hello students, this is Mr. Simons. I am really sick, but I am going to try and do the demonstration that I would have done up on the projector for you to get you started on the slideshows. So, <clears throat> now that you've got a bunch of pictures all saved, you want to open up Final Cut Pro, and it looks like this. And um, it sometimes takes a second to open up, so please be patient with it if it is taking a moment to open up here but it's gonna open up and it should look like this on the left hand side here um, should say untitled um, because we haven't done anything with it yet and we've erased all of the other stuff that anybody did in Final Cut from last semester so it should be really clean here so I'll show you what to do with this library um, but I will also in a moment show you how to create a new library if there's already a library here. So you just click and you wait a sec and you click again on the library and that will reveal its ability to be named here. And you want to name the library. Okay, super important that we name the library here and uh, name it with your initials, today's date. and call it library and uh, and then and and then just hit enter and that's and that's the name of your library now now we've got a library that, that to hold all our events into that has our name on it so we know which one it is and we may make new libraries for um, other events later on if we need to okay it created an event for you automatically but I want to show you how to create an event because you want a new event every time you're doing new projects um, you want to you want to hold all the media for your event in its own project okay so right click on the library create a new event here and then always name the event okay and uh, one is going to be SS for slideshow. Okay, and it's in this library. It shows you where, where to put it and everything. Okay, so now we've got a, a library and a named event. Okay, we've got an event that's named for specifically for the project we're working on. Okay, so next step here if you don't have the original library you come up to here in the file menu go to open library and you go to other and you would you would make a new library if you need to okay so that's where to make a new library if you need to make a new library um, most of us should have the view that I just got um, here with a with a a library that was uh, that was untitled but you do want to title the library and you want to title your event okay and we're going to take a screenshot after we import some of our um, pictures here okay so to import our pictures and there's all remember there's always a couple of ways to do a lot of the different things on here Okay, so be prepared for, you know, somebody to say, oh, there's another way to do it. That's okay. That's okay. Th this is an easy way to get the stuff imported here, is to import media from the device, camera, or archive, and we've actually got our stuff archived in a folder. We made a folder and saved our pictures into it, okay? So, import media. Now, we, um, now we've got to find our media that we're after here, okay? So we go to, um, it, yours should say period 8 or whatever over here on the side. And you go to there and you go to the documents folder, double click on documents folder, double click on your home folder, double click on your pics folder. And then uh, if, if you are following directions closely, you do have... A uh, folder with all your picks in it here so I, I, I made a folder that says slideshow picks and I double click on that and here are all my pictures that I got okay looks like one of them 
may may not have been an, a, a proper image, and and so that one just won't load, and that's okay. Okay, so how to how to import everything from there? Let's just import everything from that folder. Since I have it organized properly in that folder, we can import all of it into our event. Okay, so and uh, yeah, that. Some files cannot be imported, and if you got a bad file too, hey, that's okay. Just don't import that one, and you'll have plenty of pictures. Hopefully, everybody has plenty of pictures to work on for their slideshow. Looking forward to seeing um, what you guys come up with with this uh, project here. Okay, so continue import, and boom, 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 and you can see that you, you now have tons of pictures to work with all the pictures all the pictures that were in your folder are now over here on your media to use in Final Cut Pro okay so um so next next step is to start a new project okay because we have to have a timeline a project area to um to to start our our project here after we create our new project when it's blank we're going to take our first screenshot that I want you to that I want you to submit okay so let's start our new project here and we go to project name make sure we name the thing the project and I'm going to name it the same thing I named my event the slideshow okay and we just hit okay and you see we now have a timeline down here okay for for building and you can drag pictures one at a time you can drag a piece of a picture or you can highlight the first picture and shift click on the last picture hold down shift and click and you get a whole bunch of pictures all at once and we can just pop them in there but you never know and and whatever if something like this comes up just take the defaults it'll be fine here and uh, and so now we're ready since we have some pictures in and uh, and essentially we have the library and the event so we want to show that we have a project built uh, and you can see the name of the project right here right we have things in our event, we have our event built, and we have our library. There's a great time to take a screenshot. So command shift four, let's screenshot around and make sure we get the name of the library and the name of the event and the name of the project all in this screenshot. So that's enough right there, bing bing. And we can turn that screenshot in later and just turn that in where, um, where you found this tutorial okay so uh now now we're ready to start building our slideshow and so you uh you uh, click away from you click on uh an image you want to move around and you can just and you can just move them around into any order you want okay and so you get you get a good order for your pictures here and then take the playhead back to the beginning and hit play and you can see how your how your stuff is playing now um right now these things are playing way too long we don't want a two minute long slideshow we don't want a two minute long slideshow here and uh and so so we're gonna so we're gonna highlight everything again here and uh, and change the duration. Okay, so so go ahead and stop it, and you can you can stop and start it with the um, with the uh, space bar as well. Okay, so uh, the way to highlight all of your all of your things again is to highlight the first one and then shift click on the last one, and then right click change duration and let's make each one of these about four seconds here and see how that works and then hit enter ok 
Okay. Change duration. Four zero zero. There we go. And uh, and and so now the whole slideshow will play in fifty six seconds, and that's and that's more like what we want our slideshow to play. And then see, it just plays for four seconds, and you could change um, to whatever duration you would like to change. So again, you you highlight them all. You right click, change duration, and just write in the 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 duration number there. Okay, so uh, so cool things that we can do with our slideshow is to add some transitions in between slides, and they're right over here. You just click on this, and that's install transitions. I always like the cross dissolve here, and you. And just put that in between a few a few slides, and you can try some of the other cool ones. And there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of really cool transitions. So just play around with those. Look, there's like combo spin and stuff like that. Here, let's put a couple of the fancy ones in, just to see how those transitions work here. Okay, and then there's the cross dissolve. See, it just dissolves from one to the other. And then here we got a couple of fancy ones coming up. So there's one of the fancy ones there. And here's one of the other fancy ones here. Yeah, you can see how those work. Those are cool, right? And they work really well in a slideshow. We, we you know, we want to be judicious about what we actually use in a movie um, later on. Okay, so transitions are required. You get them in the transitions browser here. If you get stuck at any point, please um, feel free to find and seek out some really basic Final Cut Pro tutorials, Final Final Cut Pro X, FCPX tutorials. I'll, I'll try and post a couple along with this uh, tutorial for you so that you can um, work on those. Okay, so transitions, that's where you find them, that's how you use them. The uh, next thing we want are titles, okay? And so here are, here's, here's our title browser here. And you can scroll down and see some uh, some cool titles, and there's lots of cool titles. You, th this will show up a little different on your screen here, um, and uh, and and so you want to pick a title that you think will work really well. I'll always like this title here, and put it at the very beginning for the title of your of your movie. And you got to put the playhead over it in order to see the title that you're that you're doing and then double click on it and you'll be able to write in the words Mr. S slideshow okay now let's now let's take a different view of the playthrough here and this is uh, to get a full screen view of it and then and then you see how it works there and then we can get out of full screen right here so into full screen just like that and out of full screen, right like that. And we put the playhead back at the beginning here, and you see how that title plays. And then we want some credits at the end. Now this this one isn't, we don't need scrolling credits for lots of, uh, uh, for lots of people because there weren't lots of people involved in this, but, but give yourself credit at the end. So let's put the playhead over that and double click on it and so, and that, and our, and, and our, uh, ending slide there, our credits will say a Mr. S production. Okay, so now we have we have um, a title, we have credits, we have transitions. Now we need some audio, and audio is fun. Okay, so play around with this. Don't don't uh, don't try and move too fast or finish too quickly on this, because um, we do want to have some fun with this. So we open up the audio up here. Okay. And uh, you got to give it a sec for the sound effects to all build in. 
okay and there are there are several different effects and you can open this up just a little bit more now the jingles will be like songs right and you double click on them to hear what they sound like make sure you guys are using headphones of course right so you get you get through the jingles and then you got crashing glass uh, crashing metal all sorts of stuff debris and you can see and you can scroll down through transportation. So we got motorcycles coming by. Okay. And I've got um, I've got skiers. So let's see if there's any ski. There we go, ski. Sound. Let's see what the. Okay, so we'll use uh, ski one, ski two, ski three. Good. There's some ski sounds for me to use. Okay, so I've got actual sound effects that go with some of my pictures, which is cool. Okay, let's use those. So we drag them right down here. And put them right over the the spot where they go, and they can they can overlap each other. You can have a couple of tracks, and I'll go over all of this when I get back. Okay, so our slideshow. So we got slide, so we got some sound effects that go with what the, what they are. You don't have to just play around with this stuff. Have fun with the audio, but we do want some background music too. So we do want to go down to the, we do want to go to the jingles here again, and we can search on jingles, right? That's not a good speed. Go back, back okay, we'll go with the boss Nova lounge here. And we'll put that down below all of the other stuff here, and and so the and and you can play with the volume a little bit, like right there, okay. And so you see how my slideshow is playing. Okay, so this slideshow that I've made has all of the basic requirements. It has audio, it has more than one source of audio, it has titles at the beginning, it's got transitions in the middle, and credits at the end. Okay, so if you get stuck, feel free to find some basic Final Cut Pro X tutorials on the internet there are plenty of them to be had there's some really good short ones and some and some longer ones don't worry as long as you guys are working on the slideshow all period um, and working on building your skills with Final Cut I'm not too worried about it. I'm super sick but hey I could do at least um, part of the lesson for you today okay so I hope I am better by next time I'm going to the doctor later today and I will find out and I'll let you guys know so I look forward to seeing you soon and I look forward to seeing your slideshows thanks bye bye